All right, thought I'd do a quick little video about um, some of the crane changes I've made here um, on the home ship. Uh, we'll load up a container. Um, just uh, I'm using the bow and stern thrusters to uh, shouldn't I jump like that. And I'm bringing the using the bow and stern thrusters to um, push the home ship closer right now, and then I'm gonna use the anchors to also do it. I'll just get it close, and then I'll uh, just made a kind of a quick and dirty um, container handler. Just to test out the new, um, the new stuff on the crane. I uh, before I was doing all cable, but this gave me a little bit more control. Um, and as you see on the end there, I put a modular or a um, a different connector on there. That way I can have modules, so I could have a winch module or in this case a container mover. Um, just gives it a little bit more control. I can rotate it this way. Um, let's actually go in and shut off the thrusters. We have damage off, so that won't cause any damage, but I don't need to be thrusting it against the side of the ship. All right, so we will um, I'm gonna toggle this real quick. We'll connect to the crane itself. So there's a tilt sensor on this part that keeps this always facing the ground. Um, so now that's connected. As you can see, we're gonna uh, just need to move a little. It gets caught on there. I might change it to hard points. Um, so I have the crane. I added cables today um, for the crane. It's probably gonna be obnoxious with where I parked that. Let me move that really quick. Nothing's easy. Um, let's see. Okay, let me actually reconnect that. So take me a quick second. I'm just gonna move this because it's gonna cause a problem. So, all right, all right. Let's line this up where I want it, and then I'll uh, I'll drop the container itself. Okay, let's put the brakes on. I'll drop the container. This is just my container mover for my um, for some of my ships, so it's or for uh, some of my aircraft. So it's designed so you can um, you know easily uh, easily move um, the uh, you can ra raise the level of the um, of the container so you can put it in the back of aircraft. That's why it's designed the way it is. All right, let me grab this container really quick. All right, so um, so I, I kind of worked with the crane today and I did this, um, as you can see that end part's different. Uh, main reason I did that is so that I can have some modules. That man overboard boat, as you can see, I forgot to um, merge. Um, so this is gonna allow me to have modules on the um, on the crane here. Um, you know, so this is just a really quick and dirty, um, extendable, um, container carriage. Um, you know, they have these at the rail yard I go to sometime. Not, doesn't look like this at all, but, um, you know, extendable, um, container, um, grabber. Okay, let's see. And then I'm, I'm just going to get close and then I have to, um, Hit press four and then it'll connect. Okay, so now we can pick up the container. So I have a large. So some people were asking um, on Reddit how you know how you can get a um, ship to be able to grab containers and use a crane without tipping over. And as you can see, I have the container. And as you can see by the black line, it's pretty level. Um, if you look under here, I have a very large um, counterbalance here. Counterbalance is right at the center of gravity. It weighs about three times what a container weighs, so that allows me to pretty um, pretty easily manipulate manipulate a container. So let's um, we'll even do a quick test here. We'll uh, extend the container max distance, and uh, you can see how you can pretty um, reliably you know control that. Um, so that's about max reach right there. So actually, let me take a picture. Some people on um, Reddit were interested in, you know, being able to do something like this, where you could, um, 
you know, counterbalance for a container. Um, all right, so um, as you can see, I can do max reach on this, and that, um, you know, I can reach quite far and load it. And as you can see, we have no tilt there. Let's um, fly back in. I was flying. Okay, let's actually try to fly right. All right, so um, yeah, it's got me in the water now. I know this this whole flying business, the way they've got it set up, is a little bit of a pain. But all right, so let's find the uh, counterbalance here. Okay, here it is. So as you can see, um, it's you know it's it's on tracks and it's moving in order to um, maintain center with that um, container. So even though we have a container that's you know quite a ways out, we can uh, stay nice and level. So, all right, so let's bring it in and uh, attach it, and I'll end this video. All right, so as you can see, we stay pretty stable, even moving the container. Um, and this uh, this is based off a real LeBaire crane. The real one, um, it uses hydraulic actuators to lift the crane. Um, you know, our pneumatic actuators have a lot to be desired. Um, so we, uh, so you know, I'm just, I just did it with cables. Um, all right, so I'm just going to do it from first-person perspective. Um, so one of the reasons why I added this, um, why I made this carriage real quick here, is I wanted to be able to rotate, and this allows me to very precisely be able to control where I put the, um, you know, where I put things. And so, uh, so you can see I can pretty easily, from first-person perspective, line this up and do whatever I need to do to get it um, you know, right in position. Uh, when I was just doing a uh, cable, I couldn't really rotate it um, effectively, so this allows me to rotate better. Let me turn that connector on so this will snap up. I might have an issue in the snaps. There's, a, there's enough slack on these hard points, as you can see, it allows it to do that where it pops, as you can see. If it didn't have that give, um, you know, you would you'd end up in a clang situation for those who play uh, Space Engineers. But as you can see, so pretty easily, um, you know, I have yet to, I've tested out three containers across. I would like to see if I can do a, um, probably five is going to be the max capacity on this because you'd have container, 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 um, container, container, and then you would need the gap to, to restow the, um, to restow the, uh, the crane. So, so what will, you know, what you would do in a real situation loading this uh, this ship is you would actually disconnect um, the um, that part there. You would leave this. Uh, I'm still holding on to it. Um, you would disconnect that like that. You would leave the um, container handler on top, and then to stow, you would come in and so. You, you can imagine you have a container in the center. You have uh, two on either side on port and starboard, and then um, so, you know, just it's. I've got it set up slow, so you know you wouldn't want this crane moving too fast. That's when you're going to run into issues of um, you know of uh, things slamming around, and then that will snap into place. So um, you know, as you can see, this should be able to hold five containers. Um, you know, I have a I have a lot of ballast water in here. I have 65,000 liters, mostly in the stern. Um, you know, the bow has a lot of weight, a lot of mass because of the um, because of all the decking and all the rooms. Um, so I should be able to put five containers on this, no problem. It would just pump out the ballast water. Um, so another function of the home ship is, you know, I want it to be able to pretty much do any missions. So this allows you to bring five containers. You know, if you're talking a trip to the Arctic, they're usually worth around 30K. So you're talking 150,000 uh, profit, or not necessarily profit, but 150,000 for that. Um, but as you can see, you can pretty easily deck load. Um, I like the functionality of this new, um, of this new container handler here, but I don't like the look of it. So I'd, you know, I just st put that quickly together for a test, but I like this new function of this uh, kind of knuckle boom system. Um, you know, I'm going to make a winch attachment for this, um, a bunch of different attachments so that you can more easily um, control. I also have some uh, a boat 
that can, uh, you know, and I'm going to have modules that will go here. So if instead of containers, you might have a module and actually put a different boat on here or a submarine, um, you know, so you can do all different types of missions. But, um, you know, just kind of a quick little update of uh, the crane. Um, you know, put cables on today, did some other stuff trying to, uh, you know, change in this whole design around. But um, it's a pretty functional ship for loading containers. Thanks for watching.